switch to cycles render and delete the cube add a plane and this is going to be the emitter for the smoke press space and search for quick smoke this cube is the domain of the smoke I want it to be taller and increase the size take the plane up so that the smoke can start from above add a vortex force field increase the vortex force to 5 strength and the density of the smoke to negative 0 0.3 and play as you can see because we increase the density of smoke it is coming down from up, from up now let's increase the resolution of the smoke to two divisions this should be enough for testing and as you can see it has much more detail now that we're happy with the simulation let's check smoke adaptive domain take this to 2 and increase the resolution more divisions means more time to bake 6 is enough for me even that takes a lot of time before you can bake you need to save the blender file after you save it bake the simulation and there it is it looks good I'm gonna change this light to sun and strength of 2 I want it to shine from the side okay let's see it good it has a nice shadow I'm just doing this so that the background can be transparent to change the color of the smoke let's split this view and go to node editor and select the domain of the smoke and I'm going to delete this color and change this color to brown ish so that it looks like it looks like sand, uh, sand or dust. Now it's a little pink. Good. It looks like real dust. Let's take the sampling to fifty and see how it looks. And there it looks nice this is dust tornado to make the fire tornado let's switch to another layer and add a cylinder and make it a little taller and skinnier okay good now we do the same thing space and quick smoke search for quick smoke and the domain will appear just like the first one resize the domain select the cylinder go to physics and choose fire plus smoke now let's add a vortex just like the first one 
this is the force field that makes it into a tornado let's increase the strength of the vortex and increase the density of the small campfire negative 5 will do and play as you can see there is fire and there is smoke coming up and down just like in the first one check smoke high resolution and let's take the division to 2 so we can see the details on the smoke and fire as you can see there's nice detail there blender automatically creates the material for the smoke but the fire we we have to add ourselves and to add fire to the material we need an emitter shader shader and emitter okay connect it to the add shader and copy everything here from the smoke and connect that to the strength and change the density to flame now we need to add a color ramp for the color of the fire and connect that to the factor and connect the color to the emission color as you can see there is white fire in there I'm gonna take a sample from real fire picture of a real fire let's add two more points here as you can see the brightest color of the fire is white and the second brightest is somewhat yellow and here it's orange let's see how it looks yeah it looks nice it looks like real fire you can make your own fire add some blues or any type of color you can imagine I want the smoke to be a little denser so I'm going to increase to 10 here just like in the dust tornado when you're happy with the simulation select the domain and increase the smoke resolution and smoke adaptive domain and hit bake you may want thicker smoke or lighter smoke you can just increase or decrease this value I forgot this the first tornado I built is in this exact same space so they will be overlapping I have to move this I have to rebake it again so 
select both the layers and I'm going to position the camera now that we're finished I'm gonna make the setting simple mountains and the floor I render the setting and the tornado separately and I can combine them at compositing later. Here we go.